So I invite people on Tech Tuesday to help us navigate this space called technology because for people, including myself, it's not an easy, you know, thing to wrap your head around sometimes. It's a little intimidating for some of us. So let me welcome to the show. She's the founder of Women in Linux, which is a, a uh, I think that's a software. See, look at me. I don't even know what I'm talking. I think it's a software operating system. Let me welcome to the show, Miss Tamika Reed. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for yes. being here. You're welcome. And to uh, piggyback off of that, yes, uh, Linux is an operating system. Okay. Now, how, um, did, how did you become expert in this? <laughs> well, uh, well. So, so long story short, I actually was uh, living in Hawaii at the time, and um, a guy in the class that I was taking with Cisco networking was like, "The command line is just like uh, Linux." So, me thinking how I think, I was like, "Well, maybe if I get real good at the command line, I'll get get good at Cisco." And the two don't really correlate with each other at all. So, he sold me a computer for seventy two dollars, and I taught myself Linux. I went to the bookstore. I bought um, another version of Linux, uh, different from what he had shown me, which was Susie. And I just hopped on there and I started learning and making my own notes. Okay. And so, I, so wait, let me ahead. just pause you, Tamika Reed, because uh, first of all, living in Hawaii, you better go ahead with that. That sounds wonderful. But <laughs> but being able to just hop on something and buy a book and learn how to do it, you had to have some background. So you're working for Cisco. What's your tech background? Mm-hmm. No, I, I wasn't working for Cisco. I was actually, I actually got married and moved to Hawaii. And at the time, um, when I went back to school, I was scared of the computer. I was scared of the mouse. I was scared of the screensaver. I didn't know how to navigate on the computer. I didn't know what Word was from when I started in, in high school to when I to I graduated. So I went back to school when I lived in Atlanta and took an intro to computer to computing classes. And I learned how to do Word, and I learned how to do everything I wanted to know about the computer then, but I said there was so much more. Right. So when I moved to Hawaii, I, I, I just continued that passion and my focus because I said I never wanted to be that person that was left behind in the class. Wait, I so, never wait, so you weren't like this techie person in the fifth grade building computers and learning how to code and teach yourself online, YouTube and whatever. You just, you were like, like many of us kind of nervous about technology, but somehow took a class where you're learning Microsoft Word, which is like the most basic, you know, thing you can navigate. Right. And, right. and through that sparked an interest in learning how to teach yourself Linux. I sparked the interest of learning how to uh, how networks work, so that's why I took uh, Cisco networking. And in that, like I said, in that class, the guy was like, "This is just like Linux." So I started combining the two. I started learning Cisco networking, and I started learning Linux. And I was teaching myself. I would go online. I would buy computers off of eBay. I would build my own lab. I have my own lab at home now. Wow. I I continue to I continue to do that, and I, I, I always had a, a a passion for computers, but, you know, I come from a single mom background. You can't afford a computer, and you couldn't, you know, back in the day, it was the candy. Right. And she was like, you're not going to hook that up to my TV and mess up my TV. So, you know, you had to do what you had to do. Wow. So, you know, what's fascinating when I think about what how empowered you must have been as you at each stage started to unlock things in your mind, because I think fear is the greatest, you know, uh, obstacle to success you know people don't succeed because they're afraid to even try certain things or in their minds like you know i'm not good at math so i can't do this or i've never been good at computers i don't understand this and it's the fear of even trying that keeps us from you know accomplishing a lot of things but i can't even imagine you know how much empowerment you got at each stage of unlocking this knowledge and then being so bold as to put computers together and whole you know whole networks in your home what was that like uh, it was empowering and at, at the same time disheartening because I never saw and I still don't see anyone that looks like me. I um, I've in my 17 years of doing um, Linux administration, I've only run into four women and two of those are black. Um, so that's the whole reason why I started Women in Linux is to change the 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 game or change the mindset of what people actually think. Um, even our interviews now, it's it's the question of how do you know Linux? Well, what did you do? Right. You know, I always give people the the, the thing that I, I tell them every time. I say there's this wonderful tool out there. It's called a book. 
and I just picked <laughs> it up and I read it. <laughs> so, so when when can we when do we use Linux in our everyday life? Like, why is this a, a thing to to learn? If I'm if I'm listening to the show right now and I might you know be curious about this, why would I even want to get involved in this Linux thing? What is it? Okay, so if you want to get involved in Linux, and yes, you do use it every day. Um, Android-based uh, runs off of Linux. Um, I think your Jaguar, your Mazda, your Interface, what? your, wait, your wait infotainment system. Okay. <laughs> your infotainment system is Linux-based. It's embedded Linux. Um, your smartphones, your watches, um, anything, any server. In fact, back in the day, the ongoing joke was, uh, people scat, uh, scoured Microsoft's network, and their web servers were running on Linux. So Microsoft was using Linux back in the day to run their web servers. Wow. So it's been around for a while, and it's, 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 it's nothing new. It's just we don't have exposure to it. What There's is no that? school. Like what, what is so, mastery? I'm sorry, Tamika. We're talking with Tamika Reed, founder of Women, excuse me, founder of Women in Linux. What does mastery of Linux give somebody? So for me, I'm a mastery of, of, of Linux, and I combine it with uh, other things uh, as far as uh, Linux, uh, security, for storage administration. Uh, a combination of those things could get you a job anywhere. I mean, I, I honestly have to say, and I'm, I'm not bragging or anything, I've never had to really go and look for a job. I always just put my resume online, and the jobs come to me. Mm. And that's no, that's not a a brag or anything that's just what it was okay we, what, we what's the salary it? range for a linux expert or somebody that's well versed in linux in the marketplace right now uh it can it can range for anywhere from eighty thousand to 350 nice okay i will be on getting me a book right now when i go home and learn me some <laughs> linux because that's, that's a good salary yeah and it, again those are on the higher ends there's a combination of things solution architect or or whatever but usually from what i can or well, from me coming up in the ranks i had to know everything right. so it wasn't i just knew linux i knew linux i knew security i knew networking i knew storage administration being able to walk into a building look in a building set it up for wireless networking set it up for security access set up the cameras you know you just had to do it all Okay, so I just learned, um, and I learned this from reading your your whole bio here, that I don't have to go get a book. I can go through you, Tamika Reed, because that's what your whole company is set up to do. Founder of Linux, okay. Women in Linux. So right now, you're teaching people how to do Linux, how to code, how to how to learn this. Where? Where can they go? Online. I, I do it online. Everything I do is virtual. Um, we meet every Wednesday and every Saturday, every Wednesday from 7 to 9, every Saturday from 10 to 12. The classes are free. The whole goal is to get the word out there. The whole goal is to get you exposed. Um, I try to expose you to everything I can as far as technology goes, from Linux to scripting to programming to uh, AR, VR to gaming. Mm. Uh, we're we're being left out of the gaming uh, yes. era. Uh, the 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 one in Seattle just had a big gaming convention. The 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 pot was nine million. We wasn't there. Um, so I try to give people uh, exposure to as much technology as I possibly can, as early as I possibly can. Did you sign up for scholarships? If I can. Wow. Introduce you to jobs, whatever I can do to help you just navigate. Like if you don't like it, then go try something else. Right. New. But at least you're exposed. So Wednesdays, seven to nine a.m. or p.m. PM. All right, what East Coast time? Uh, Eastern Eastern time. Saturday from ten to to noon or ten to mm-hmm. min, ten to noon. Ten to noon. Okay, uh, Eastern time. Where? What's the link? The link for for our meetups is uh, meetup dot com slash women in Linux. That's easy enough. Meetup.com slash women. Plural, in Linux. In Linux. L-I-N-U-X. All right. This is uh this is awesome. I uh, appreciate you. I appreciate what you're doing no, out there. No problem. Tamika. Thank you so much. Guys, if you have any interest whatsoever in making $300,000 a year, <laughs> I'm just playing, or any interest whatsoever in learning, uh, you know, the next uh, frontier. Get yourself online. Meet up with Tamika on Wednesdays and Saturdays, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern, 10 to 12 noon on Saturdays at meetup.com slash women in Linux. We will post that link as well as we do most links. Thank you again, Tamika Reed. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah, that was interesting.